Hey folks! In this video we're going to attempt to turn this 3D model of a statue of Sekhmet into a real bronze statue of Sekhmet. This model was created using a technique called photogrammetry, where you take hundreds if not thousands of uh, photographs of an object from all angles and you put it in a computer software and uh, the program somehow through some witchcraft figures out how that thing should look like in a 3D environment. And from there we can 3D print it. After it's printed, then we just have to remove all the supporting structures and uh, I lost the actual footage of the statue of Sekhmet uh, being cleaned up, but I have footage of a different statue that I'm also working on, so that's gonna have to do. Once that's all said and done, we patch up some parts that might come out a little weird. And uh, fill in some gaps and details that need to touch up. And we are left with a 3D model of uh, our statue. That now I'm going to use the, the sand casting technique to make a bronze statue of. I hope. <laughs> I like sand casting because it's one of the simplest and most straightforward forms of metal casting, although it does have some limitations. But in this case, it'll work just fine. If you've been following the channel, you're certainly familiar with it by now, I do it all the time, but basically the procedure is to make a negative impression of an object in this special type of sand, and that leaves a cavity where we'll pour molten metal into. And in this case, the metal will be our aluminum bronze alloy that we made in a previous video. Opening the mold is always suspenseful, you never know if it turned out good or if something went wrong, if it didn't flow completely inside. Oh, that's a fiery birth, look at that, I love it, so dramatic. This one seems to have turned good so far.
Ash, I'm trying to film here. Are you making sure it's good? You approve? So here she is! And I'm quite pleased with it, although I will be the first one to admit that it is a pretty rough casting. There is uh, some uh, surface imperfections and porosity. And that's because she's a pretty good example of how not to do sand casting. Uh, when you do it the way I did, which is the way a lot of people do it because it's simple, if you pour the molten metal straight down to the mold cavity, you're introducing a lot of turbulence and a lot of air, a lot of gases. Also the gases from the sand, when it gets in contact with the hot metal, it has to go somewhere, so it's gonna go through the metal. And um, that introduces all this pitting and imperfections on the surface. But this one is for myself, so it's all right the way it is. I, in fact, kind of like it. It makes it look like she's been around for a while. It's like she's a few thousand years old. <laughs> if I were making some to sell it, I would definitely do it the correct way. Which brings up the question. If I make more of these, does anybody want to buy them? <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.